normal first and second heart sounds. Listen to the following example. Normal first and second sounds can be heard. Each pair of sounds, lub-dub, lub-dub, will begin with the first sound and end with the second. Listen to these sounds and keep in mind the systolic and diastolic periods in the cardiac cycle. Normally, the first sound is slightly lower in pitch in comparison with the second sound. Production and components of the first sound. Although as many as four components of the first heart sound can be demonstrated by special recording techniques, the major audible components are related to mitral and tricuspid valve closure. Mitral, M1 closure, is the first audible component of the first sound. It normally occurs before tricuspid, T1 closure, and is of slightly higher intensity than T1. The mitral component is heard best at the apex, although it is discernible at any of the sites of auscultation. Since it is a high-frequency sound, it is heard best with the diaphragm firmly pressed. Tricuspid, T1 closure, is the second component of the first sound. It has less intensity behind its production and may only be audible at the left lateral sternal border. A split of the first sound occurs when both components that make up the sound are separately distinguishable. In a normally split first sound, the mitral and tricuspid components are 20 to 30 milliseconds apart. A split of the first sound is heard in about 70% of normal subjects and is heard best at the LLSB with the diaphragm firmly pressed. Listen to a normally split first sound. Widely split first sound. Under certain conditions, a wide or abnormally split first sound can be heard. An abnormally wide split first sound can be due to either electrical or mechanical causes, which create asynchrony of the two ventricles. Some of the electrical causes may be right bundle branch block, premature ventricular beats, and ventricular tachycardia. More often, however, in actual practice, an apparently wide split will in fact be caused by another sound around the time of the first. A sound which can be mistaken for a wide split first is an ejection sound, which will be discussed later. Listen now to a widely split first sound. The intensity of the first sound is subject to considerable variation due to a variety of physiological factors, including 1. Chest wall shape and thickness. The thinner the chest, the louder the sound. 2. The rate of rise of ventricular pressure. The more energy behind ventricular contraction, the louder the sound. 3. The position of the mitral valve at the onset of ventricular systole. The wider open the mitral valve, the louder the sound. 4. The stiffness, i.e. calcification, of the AV valves. The stiffer the valve, the softer the sound. When the first sound is louder than the second, an impression of coming down the musical scale is perceived. When the first sound is softer than the second, the impression is that of going up the musical scale. Listen now to a loud first sound followed by a softer second sound.
Now, listen to a softer first sound followed by a louder second sound. 